Yeah, we definitely need to fix these doors. Holy shit. These doors are like death. This gives you nice... It's basically the second nicest view of the world. Yep, I agree. Second only to the lighthouse. Lighthouse is huge. Well, the lighthouse is actually... I don't know if it has the best view because we made it so tall, actually, that you can't see, like, the ground near it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's at a weird... Uh, it's at a weird angle. As far as, like, wait, the height the goes. Yeah, and, oh, we didn't show them the treehouse. I have to show them the se secret treehouse. Oh, yeah. Well, the not-so-secret treehouse behind your castle. I think Mags did that. Epic Mags. Yeah. Oh, I think, didn't you do it with Mags? Yeah, me and him. I, it was my idea yeah, of the so forest. Just just guess which tree has the treehouse <laughs> in it. Just pick, make a wild guess. Hmm. Well, gee. I wonder. I mean... Gee, Chris, are, are, like, trees supposed to have windows in them? I wonder. Hmm. <laughs> well, no, uh, initially... We had a story for the treehouse, though. Initially, uh, I kind of do. Initially, like, what was supposed to happen is we were supposed to put higher trees around it, so it wasn't as obvious. But basically, <laughs> uh, a treehouse was made by a former... Oh my god, why do we have beds in the treehouse? Don't get the wrong idea. No, but uh... Uh, yes, yeah, so this is basically... Like, if you were a villager, and you were too poor, and you couldn't go into Bunker 69, this is where you'd go to repopulate the world. <laughs> to be in here. No, but there's a, there's a story behind this. This is, um, basically this Oh, was... we got Slenderman right there, too. So. Uh, exactly. Alright, well, I'm hop. I'm hopping on bad company too. All right, um. But um, there's there's a little story to this. Uh, basically, this was made by a former uh, citizen of the town that used to be that the scientist and ship were and doing we experiments on. We still haven't decided on. the name of the town yet. We we have not decided the town name. I I thought of a few names, but um. Like we said, this is all in the development. This isn't nearly half the half the stuff as and, um, we have. We didn't show them the the underground maze yet. Yeah, I'm kind of saving the best well, let's for last. Back. Before we do that, let's let's go over here. Show them this first. Where are you? Oh, so, there you are. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, there's a secret entrance somewhere. Um to the underground lab, and we did, I decided, I suggested that instead of having one secret entrance, we should also have um, a proper lab for it. Like we said, um, the scientists were doing experiments and shit, and the nether, and well, we need a lab, right? The scientists need a lab to do research, and, and that's what we're building right now. And that's going to have an entrance to the underground yep. um, tunnels as well. See, this is... Uh... And, this is yeah. the... And no, the underground tunnels are not imagined, no. It's something separate. Yeah. This is the uh, research facility. This was initially the first building that was founded by the scientist. And uh, yeah. this so is basically... the lab station. And when yeah. when I so basically... first... Hold on, hold on. When I first uh, yeah. made this, I, I kind of figured that it would be a sort of... Uh, like safe haven for the scientists to like do their work and stuff and whatnot and um but yeah and then the the place over there is kind of the uh it is the which place the place that we're in progress of building with the fence around it workstation oh we didn't explain the ufo did we like the story behind that yeah, the UFO is something entirely separate. But this this all is abandoned. That's what uh. I remember correctly, so the UFO had something to do with like the lighthouse is basically they were calling for help. Yeah. And uh, this thing showed up. Mhm. Mm and more shit happened, so it didn't really help them. But yeah, we're we're planning on putting a little bit more stuff in this, and it'll all make sense. 
eventually. <laughs> I was planning after we're done this small village to make a giant wall around it. And after, um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, Gary doesn't have a story. Actually, no, Gary, you see, actually is the most, he, he's the center of the story. He's actually <laughs> the, he's actually the incarnation of Satan in this world. <laughs> he's the one that leads the charge of another monsters into the world. Yeah, but it's, I mean, there's some, he is a, there's some random stuff that was built, and then there's some stuff that actually holds kind of a concrete, like, meaning in the whole world, but, yep, it's, um, it's, I mean, we've made a lot, we've done a lot of work from day one, I remember the first time we, uh, I got Minecraft. I remember when we started working on our castles and they just got demolished. <laughs> that was yeah. pretty um. The castles took a long time to build. I'm still working on mine, actually. Gary took longer though, probably. Gary took, took longer <laughs> to build. Gary was just like, "Oh, let's make a hole um, in the fucking ground." I think Boom. The, the thing that took the longest time was probably my. The thing I'm the most lighthouse. proud of. The lighthouse, definitely. Even though it's kind of fucked up since, like, it's one block off, yeah, it's still my, uh... It took us an insane amount of time to build. We redesigned it a few times. And, uh... It's just... It just fucks up. Oh, yeah! There, Chris, we got... There, there's, uh... Not only do we have glowstone in the middle for lights, but we also have mini torches on, like, the roof as well. And it's... There's a little mini gold pyramid on top. Oh yeah, that's right, for the lighthouse. Um, yep. I mean, what the hell is a lighthouse without light? So, got a little yeah. contraption up here. We should make like a little, uh, like a little ladder. So it's like a maintenance access to the roof. But yeah, that's, I mean, just a freaking vast... And sheer size of the lighthouse is like... I mean, that was a task within a task to build that. And, I, and, yeah, and then we... And after then we, we built a fountain in it, and then we linked it with our castle, so it took quite... Oh, and the lake took quite a while, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, not that much. We, we didn't dig it out. What actually The reason we named it Crater Lake is because I put a bunch of TNT <laughs> in a random spot. I blew it up. And there was a giant crater, and we filled it with water. Leave it to Tempest, to put lake. TNT everywhere. <laughs> uh, but TNT solves everything in Minecraft. That's the, that's the number one rule. I mean, I, I I think with the lighthouse, I initially got the idea of the lighthouse because I I go to this place called um, St. Augustine, and they have this yeah, and they have this giant ass lighthouse there, and it's supposedly haunted. And knowing me, I'm a big I'm a big, you know, skeptic when it comes to that kind of stuff, so, and I, d I just kind of... Yeah, I'm just sure, like, the biggest pussy. Oh, yeah, let me tell you. But no, if if anything scared me about the light, else was the heights. I hate, I hate heights, but I just... Yeah, I just hate anything that's paranormal. Really? Fucking, yeah. Nah, they 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 just told us some some fucked up stories about